Namaskar, an Indian greeting for hello and swagatam, welcome. My name is Kajal Vora and it's an honor to be your guide. Gratitude, a simple yet powerful form of mindfulness that deepens a connection to the beautiful people, places, events and things in our world. We can cultivate gratitude year round and Thanksgiving sure offers an opportunity to find deeper gratitude. Today, I'm bringing you a grateful flow that we can practice together on this special holiday or any other day to cultivate gratitude. Come on to your shins and press back to your heels to get into Virasana. If you have sensitive knees, you can take any other comfortable seating posture. You can use yoga blocks or pillows under your hips to find a supportive seated pose. Stack up your spine. Crown of the head rises towards the sky. Sitting bones ground down in opposition. Palms rest on your thigh or your lap. Settle in the stillness. Invite the gaze to soften or the eyes to close. Settle into a steady rhythm of your breath. Be sure to soften through your face. Draw your attention to your breath. Follow your own inhale and your exhale. As you breathe, savor the openness in your chest and your lungs. On your inhale, Think about each and every single thing that brings gratitude in your life. Exhale anything and everything that doesn't serve you and smile to yourself for the things that do. Let's pause here for a few more breaths. Listen to the sound of your breath. Notice when you inhale, your belly expands. And when you exhale, your belly contracts. Notice the quality of your thoughts. Just acknowledge any distracting thought and let it float away. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over. Exhale, hands through the heart center. Inhale, send your prayer to the sky. Exhale, draw your arms by your side. Two more times. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands through the heart center. Inhale, send your prayer up. Exhale, arms out and wide. One last time. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Slowly transition into a table pose. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, draw your belly towards the mat. Look up. Exhale, draw your chin towards the chest. Hollow your belly. Two more times. Inhale, look up. Cow pose, Bittilasana. Exhale, cat pose, Marjari Asana. One last time. Inhale, extend into your spine. Exhale, flex into your spine. Shift your hands about one palm print in front of you. Tuck your toes if they're not already and lift your knees slightly off the mat. Warming up and activating your core. Make sure to draw your belly button towards your spine and breathe through this challenge. Gaze stays down to the mat. You can always use open mouth exhales to release additional heat. And now send your hips to the sky to find your first downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana.
as you arrive bend one knee and then the other shift your hips slightly from side to side slowly warm up and whenever you're ready settle into stillness be sure to have your feet hip width apart tailbone towards the sky bend your knees slightly so that you can tilt your sitting bones upward spreading your fingers wide hands are shoulder width apart neck and head continue along the same line as the spine evenly distribute your weight between your hands and your feet engage the lower belly by drawing the navel in towards the spine your body is in an inverted v shape downward facing dog adho mukha svanasana this pose helps you strengthen and lengthen your body deep body breaths here inhale exhale completely pause here for few more breaths inhale lift your right leg to the sky exhale step it through between your hands release your back knee draw your arms towards the sky to find a low lunge gaze towards the sky if you're comfortable exhale draw your hands to the mat lift up your back knee and send your right arm to the sky for a simple twist exhale right hand back to the mat step back into a high plank pausing here for just a breath exhale come on all the way down to the mat release the tops of your feet push the tops of your feet lift up baby cobra bhujangasana exhale come on down hands closer to your waist inhale lift up high cobra or upward facing dog exhale send your hips to the sky for your downward facing dog inhale lift your left leg to the sky exhale step it through between your hands release your back knee draw your arms towards the sky gaze towards the sky to find your lunge exhale hands back to the mat lift up your back knee draw your left arm towards the sky to find your twist exhale hand back to the mat step back high plank pausing your one round of breath high plank hands pushing into the mat slowly come on all the way down release the tops of your feet baby cobra bhujangasana exhale release inhale lift up high cobra or upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog with your next inhale lift forward to a high plank uttita chaturanga dandasana pausing your active core exhale downward facing dog one more time inhale float forward high plank downward facing dog let's do this again inhale forward high plank exhale down dog warming up our shoulders bend your knees gaze to the front of the mat step or float all the way to the front inhale half lift ardha uttanasana exhale forward fold uttanasana inhale reverse swan dive sweep your arms up and over exhale hands to the heart center inhale sweep your arms up interlace your hands palms facing sky exhale arch to the right for a side stretch inhale rise up exhale arch to the other side one more round inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and wind draw your arms to the horizon sit in an imaginary chair exhale twist to the right inhale arms back to the center exhale twist to the left one more round inhale exhale twist inhale exhale twist inhale rise up cactus your arms look up exhale arms behind you interlace your hands look up exhale forward fold you can bend one knee and then the other notice how you're feeling in the back of your legs 
slowly release your hands to the top of the mat step back into a high plank active core push your hands into the mat exhale back into that downward facing dog forward high plank again exhale down dog inhale lift your right leg to the sky exhale step it through between your hands inhale rise up back heel stays lifted exhale fly your plane couple more times inhale exhale fly inhale exhale fly this time interlace your hands behind you rest your back heel and exhale surrender yourself to find humble warrior hands back to the mat keep your right leg lifted find your ikkapada chaturanga dandasana inhale high cobra or upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale lift your left leg to the sky exhale step it through between your hands inhale rise up exhale fly two more times inhale exhale inhale exhale fly interlace your hands back heel to the mat inhale exhale humble warrior on the other side this time left hip back right hip front press to the outside edge of your back foot release your hands to the mat keep your left leg lifted find your ikkapada chaturanga dandasana inhale high cobra up for facing dog exhale downward facing dog breathe we will be taking this sequence two times each side one breath one movement you can always go at your own pace inhale lift your right leg to the sky exhale step it through inhale rise exhale fly inhale exhale inhale exhale interlace your hands back heel to the mat find your humble warrior hands to the mat keep your right leg lifted find your ikkapada chaturanga dandasana inhale high cobra upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg to the sky exhale step it through inhale rise exhale fly two more times inhale exhale inhale exhale interlace your hands back heel to the mat look up exhale surrender yourself humble warrior hands to the mat this time left leg stays lifted ekapada chaturanga dandasana inhale exhale downward facing dog one more round each side inhale lift your right leg exhale step it through inhale rise exhale fly inhale exhale once more inhale exhale interlace your hands inhale exhale humble warrior hands to the mat find your transition inhale exhale one last side inhale exhale step it through inhale rise exhale fly inhale exhale inhale exhale hands behind you look up exhale hands to the mat find your transition variation transition back into downward facing dog Pausing here, a few rounds of breaths. You're always welcome to take a break, rest, go into child's pose at any point of time, or stay here in downward facing dog. Breathe. Notice how you're feeling. Acknowledge the heat you've generated, the energy you've created.
inhale lift your right leg to the sky exhale step it through between your hands left foot 90 degrees circle your arms to find your warrior two Virabhadrasana three inhale reach forward to find your extended side angle rise up straighten your right knee to reverse your triangle back into that extended side angle inhale reverse your triangle exhale extended side angle inhale reverse your triangle circle your arms draw your arms in front of you adjust your feet to find your wide legged forward fold parasarita padottanasana left hand underneath your face right arm towards the sky to find a twist this time right arm underneath your face left arm towards the sky twist hands closer towards you trying to draw the crown of your head to the mat maybe draw your arms away from you for wide legged down dog Crawl your hands back towards you, bend into one knee and then the other, finding some movements at your own pace. And then whenever you're ready, bend into your right knee to find your Skandasana expression. If you like, you can challenge your balance by bringing your hands to the heart center. Pausing here proud chest now draw your right arm away from your left arm towards the sky exhale transition to the other side finding a skandasana expression on the other side maybe add that balance challenge here as well and now left arm towards the earth right arm towards the sky open up exhale hands back to the earth one final time traditional wide legged forward fold find your variation and now adjust your left foot to circle your arms to find your warrior two on the other side left foot in line with your right arch or your right heel reach forward find your extended side angle inhale straighten your left knee reverse your triangle couple more times find your extended side angle inhale reverse your triangle one more time extended side angle inhale and again back into that warrior two circle your arms find that wide legged forward fold again adjust your feet left hand to the mat right arm towards the sky twist right hand to the mat left arm towards the sky twist hands closer towards you adjust your stance to find your wide legged forward fold traditional parsarita padottanasana pausing here Perhaps trying to draw your arms away from you to find your down dog variation in wide legged fold. And then crawl your hands back towards you. Adjust your stance to come into a high plank active core. Now going into side plank, Vashistasana, right arm underneath you, left arm towards the sky. exhale right arm underneath you left arm towards the sky vashistasana on the other side back into your high plank exhale downward facing dog pausing your few breaths always welcome to go into child's pose Take a break if you need to. Breathe. Connect back with your breath. 
inhale lift your right leg to the sky this time exhale step your right foot outside your right hand left knee to the mat to find your runner's lunge you can stay right there or draw your forearms to the mat relax your shoulders your neck you can take any other runner's lunge variation you like connect with your breath maybe find some movements swaying from side to side few more breaths here Now hands back to the mat lift up send your right leg to the sky exhale draw your right shin to the mat in front of you arms by your side exhale find your half pigeon ardha kaputasana you're always welcome to use your yoga blocks or your pillows to find additional support here you can place your pillow underneath your forehead or underneath your hips make sure there's no pain beautiful opportunity to connect with your breath notice how you're feeling notice the quality of your thoughts draw your attention to all the sensations on your right hip your right hip flexor breathe now hands underneath your shoulders tuck your back to send your right leg back to the sky bend your right knee find some movements with your right knee and then lift your left leg to the sky exhale left leg outside your left hand exhale find your runner's lunge variation on this side again you're welcome to sway from side to side or stay still relax through your upper body notice your sensations on the left hip this time breathe hands back to the mat send your left leg to the sky exhale left shin to the mat right knee to the mat inhale exhale find your half pigeon ardha kaputasana on the other side now this side could feel different and look different than the other side our bodies are not symmetrical so just honor the difference to on both the sides and take any other adjustment variation you might need on this side and welcome to take blocks or pillows to make this a supportive pose and connect with your breath follow your inhales and your exhales breathe hands back to the mat send your left leg to the sky bend your left knee again find movements from the left knee and back into your downward facing dog and then release your knees to the mat toes touch draw your knees wide arms ahead of you for head kisses the earth or top of a block or a pillow to find your final resting pose child's pose balasana let go of any judgments from your practice your day your week so far 
take this beautiful opportunity to connect with your breath take this opportunity to acknowledge all the blessings in your life finding gratitude for all those blessings being thankful for everything that makes you smile I hope you feel energized and refreshed. If you've enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me to get a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. Until we meet again, from my heart to yours. Namaste.